Brothers and sisters, you're welcome to the Thanksgiving testimonies and prayer uh, meeting of the month of October. Every new month, we meet on the first Sunday of the month to do this, to just thank God. Because we know that Thanksgiving opens way for greater blessings. The Bible says in Psalm 100, enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. A thankful heart, a grateful heart receives more blessings. And so we want to thank God. Let's take our opening prayer right away. Heavenly Father, we we'll thank you so much for making it possible for us to gather together today, this first Sunday of the month of October 2022, on this second day of October. Lord, we say thanks be to you, glory be to you. We hand over ourselves to you and we hand over this meeting to you. We ask, Lord, that you will lead us by your Holy Spirit. You will bless us mightily. And so Holy Spirit of God, we hand over to you. Please take over. And let our Father God Almighty be glorified. And let Jesus be glorified. All we have asked in Jesus' name. Amen. So we want to uh, look at a few things. And then we'll go into the thanksgiving. So let's set the background of this thanksgiving testimonies and prayer. The Lord has been very good to us. God has been very good to us. Uh, number one, for bringing us to this month of October, which is the fourth quarter of the year 2022. And you know this year, we'll come back to that. And number two, uh, for the time of refreshing, uh, with the focus on breaking my fallow grounds. Oh, which we had from 28th of September to 1st October. So we finished yesterday. Ah, it was indeed a time of refreshing, a time of re revival, a time of re-energizing uh, and refiring in the Holy Spirit. I, I, I believe we were all blessed and that blessing will continue with us for the rest of this year and the rest of our lives in Jesus' mighty name. And then we want to thank God for keeping us throughout this year and for his faithfulness. If you remember that this year, our theme, our word of faith is our year of abundant life, our year of abundant life. So our text for this year is John chapter 10, verse 10b. John chapter 10, verse 10b. Let's look at it again together. We'll just read it and then we'll continue. 10b says, I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. This is Jesus Christ speaking in John chapter 10, verse 10b. And this same word is alive in you and in me and applicable to us today. So Jesus is still saying, to us in the year 2022, I have come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly, that I may have life and that I may have it more abundantly. So we want to thank God for this abundant life he has given us. Part of the evidence of that abundant life is that he has kept us to see the fourth quarter of the year 2022 in good health and in sound mind. He has provided for us. So we are here to tell him thank you. 
Again, we want to thank God, given his faithfulness towards us, that this year, the Lord gave us insight to things that will be, that the characteristic of this year could best be described as roller coaster, roller coaster year. Do you remember? Things will go up and down, and they will progressively get worse. And as that would happen, he, God Almighty, for his own children, God's divine boundary of protection, deliverance, and safety will continue to be upon us. God's divine boundary of protection, deliverance, provision, safety will continue to be upon us. And that we have seen in Psalm 91, verse 1, from verse 1 to 11. I'll ask somebody to read that, Psalm 91, verse 1 to 11. And we were also uh, led to pray for God to raise fresh brand for us in Nigeria, specifically for Nigeria. There were other things about the nations following the roller coaster, and we were led to start praying for Nigeria, that God should raise a fresh branch to lead us in righteousness, lead us in his righteousness. We were led that we should pray that God Almighty should raise a fresh branch for us who will lead us in his righteousness in Nigeria. If you're discerning, you can uh, see what is happening in Nigeria. I remember when some of the uh, primaries were going on, and uh, I had a situation where people were doing something. So I kind of like said, well, the person you people are agitating for will not even come second. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we'll leave it there. But God will continue to do his work. And let us do our own part by just following what he has said and pray. So this is why we're thanking God. If you're there in that scripture, please, can you open it and read? Oh, we also sorry. want to thank God for keeping us from January through to September. And he has been giving us monthly themes, monthly themes, which has, have been so powerful and we have been blessed by it. And finally, for bringing us into this month of October, the month of Jubilee. Please go ahead and read the scripture. Psalm 91. Psalm 91, verse 1 to 11. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in whom I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, mm -hmm. but it shall near you. Amen. Only with eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Amen. Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high your dwelling place, no evil shall be for you, Amen. nor shall I come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Amen. Amen. Has the Lord not been faithful to his word? He has been. Glory be to God. 
Our theme for the month of October is our month of divine jubilee, divine jubilee. And our text is Luke chapter 4, verses 18 and 19. Luke chapter 4, verses 18 and 19. Please open your Bible with me while I read um, using the New King James Version. It says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. 19, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. If you look at uh, NIV, uh, New International Version, and English Standard Version, ESV, this verse 19 says to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Hallelujah. If you also check the um, Amplified, Amplified says in this verse 19, the day when salvation and the free favors of God profusely abound. That is what Jubilee means. Hallelujah. It is our month of liberty. Through Jesus Christ, we have come into the liberty, the, uh, the year, the season, the month, the day of God's divine favor. Glory be to God. And so for all this, for his goodness, for his mercy, for his love, we have come to thank God and to testify. Brothers and sisters, isn't this worth thanking God? And so let's open our mouths and begin to thank him now. Go ahead and tell him, Heavenly Father, I thank you. Go, go ahead, give him your own thanksgiving. Tell him, I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your mercies. I thank you for your love. I thank you for the salvation of my soul. Ah, that I can come here and lift up my voice and say, God, thank you. I am not in the hospital. I am healthy. I am sound. I can feed. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I give you thanks. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I give you glory. Go ahead and give God thanks. Go ahead and give God praise. Go ahead and give him honor. Just thank God profusely. Hear what that amplified version says. It says the day, the day of God's profuse, the day when salvation and the free favors, free favors of God profusely abound. It is our year of abundant life. Oh, the Lord has been faithful to us. The Lord has been faithful to us. Despite the roller coaster characteristic of the year 2022, his protection has been all around us. His safety, his deliverance, his provisions have been with us. Go ahead and thank God for your life. Thank God. Thank God from a personal point of understanding. He has been wonderful. Thank him for your family. Thank God for your spouse. Thank God for your children. Go ahead and give him thanks. Lord, we thank you. God Almighty, I thank you so much for what you have done for me. As the song says, what the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. I cannot count it all. Go ahead and just tell him the ones you can remember. Just go ahead and mention and count the ones you can count because they are uncountable. Lord, I thank you for my life. I thank you, Lord, for health. I thank you for the salvation of my soul. I thank you that you have forgiven me all my sins. I thank you, Lord Jesus, you have pushed me with your precious blood. You have washed me, cleansed me, you have brought me unto your Father and your God, who is my Father and my God forever. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for the abundant life you have given to us. In this year, 2022, we thank you for your divine protection that has kept us 
and has brought us to this month of October. You have seen us through January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, and you have brought us into October. You have brought us into this month that we have declared by faith it is our month of divine jubilee, divine liberty, divine deliverance, Lord, divine freedom. We thank you so much, our God. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the breakthroughs. Thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for the eternal life. Yeah, eternal life you have given to us. Thank you for victories in the day, victories in the night, victories in the spiritual, victories in the physical. We thank you, almighty God, that we can today lift up our voices to heaven and call you Abba Father. God is our Father. God is my Father. God, we thank you. Go ahead and give him thanks. Just give him thanks. Oh, thank him. Just thank him. Holy Spirit, please help me, help me. Just help us to thank God. I am excited, brothers and sisters. Thank you, almighty God, for all you have done for us. Thank you, Father, for your word of faith and your manifestation in our lives. Thank you, almighty God. In the month of January through March, in the first quarter, you gave us your theme of abundant life, which is also the theme for the year. And we indeed saw your abundant manifestation. And we have seen your abundant life manifesting in us. Father, we we'll thank you in the month of April. You gave us the theme, new creation, new creation. You built us up that we are your temple. And you've been ministering in this temple, your temple, through us. Lord, we thank you. We bless you so much. Heavenly Father, we thank you in the month of May. You gave us your word, the acts of the apostle. And you're still performing the same acts in our lives today. Oh, we have seen your marvelous works in our midst. Your marvelous acts are manifesting in us. Father, we thank you for your acts. Your great acts. The one who does great and marvelous things. We have seen your great and marvelous works. And we thank you. For your, your, your ways are just and faithful and true. We thank you, faithful God. In the month of June, oh, you reassured us that the reality of the name of Jesus is with us. Whatever we ask in the name of Jesus, we will receive answer. We thank you, Lord, for your unfailing word. We thank you for that name that is above all names that has been given to us. We thank you for the name of Jesus, the only name given amongst men under heaven by which we must be saved. And we have been saved by that name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you in the month of July. You gave us the theme, the overcomers, that we have overcome. And, we have, and you have made us overcomers. And we thank you, Lord, for all the things you have helped us to overcome. We thank you, Lord God Almighty. When temptations came, you helped us to overcome. When trials arose, you helped us to overcome. We thank you for all the victories, the overcoming victories you have given us. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the month of August. We thank you so much for the month of September. We thank you, Lord, for the divine settlement that you have performed in our lives in the month of September. Lord, thank you so much. You have settled every matter in our lives. And now, Lord, you have brought us into the month of Jubilee, the month of October. We say all glory be to you. All honor be to you. All praise, all majesty be unto you, our Lord and our God. It is only by your grace and your strength that all this have happened unto us. And so we join our voices together as your children, your sons and daughters, as your body, Lord Jesus. And we say, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Glory be to God. Praise be unto our God. Blessings and glory and honor and power and majesty and thanksgiving be unto our God and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, 
forever and ever and ever. And let the church of Jesus Christ say a big amen. Wow. Isn't it wonderful? And so right now we're going to ask for specific uh, individuals, two people, two people, to take the thanksgiving prayer for us. The first person will thank God for their families and thank God for this platform, what God has been doing, and thank God for the church. That's the first person, thank God for the church, the body of Christ. Go ahead. Just one person volunteer to thank God on our behalf collectively now. Thank God for our families who are here represented. And thank God for this platform for what the Lord has done. Raise your voice to heaven on our behalf and give God thanks. Jehovah, we, we bless you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you for your hand that is upon us. Thank you for the hand that is upon the word. Thank you, Jesus, for the mighty things that were done. He said, if, it's not that, if it had not been the Lord, we do not know what would have been. We, we, mm. we do not know what would have become of us. And so, Jesus, this morning, we are grateful. We are grateful for your kindness. We are grateful, Lord Jesus, for your protective cover. Thank you for being a good God, a good father to us. Jesus, this morning, we appreciate you for the work that you do in the church, the body of Christ. Thank you for causing us, oh Lord, to reign, to rule, to go from glory to glory. Thank you, Jesus, for this platform and the truth that you continue to bring out every time we meet. Thank you, Jehovah, for your word has not been scarce. Thank you, Jesus, for your wisdom that flowed freely. Jehovah, we exalt and honor you. We come together as a people. We come together collectively, even as representatives of each of our families. Mm -hmm. And we return the thanks to you. We say, Father, be thou exalted. We say, Jesus, let all glory go to you alone. We say, Abba, Father, let all of the honor be ascribed to you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. Amen. The second person, I want us to join our voices together and thank God for the nation the nations, um, and I want us to pray specifically for Nigeria. I'm going to lead us in a short prayer since we were given the word. And when we do that, then one person will round up for us. So join me and let's thank God for the nation. Tell him, Heavenly Father, we thank you for your mercy upon the nations that despite all that has been going on, you have kept the nations, you have preserved according to your will, you have kept the nations. We thank you on behalf of the kings, the president, the prime ministers, all rulers of, uh, uh, that you have allowed to rule over the nations. They are all your subject and they are subject to you. Because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the walls and they that dwell therein. The heart of the kings are in God's hand and as rivers of water, you turn it whichever way you want. So Father, we thank you for your mercy upon all rulers at whatever level in the nations. We thank you. We thank you specifically for the nation of Nigeria, the nation which you gave us your word, let us that we should be praying for a fresh branch to be raised up to lead your people in your righteousness. We thank you for protecting, preserving Nigeria. Despite all the schemes of men, you have allowed Nigeria to continue. You have not allowed Nigeria 
to experience civil war. You have not allowed Nigeria to, 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 to break up completely. Father, we thank you for keeping Nigeria. To you, almighty God, be all glory. Now, Lord, we pray for the nations. Join me to pray for the nations right away. Father, we ask that you pour out your spirit upon all nations, all the nations. Right now, as your children, we stand and ask, Lord, pour out your spirit upon the nations, that, Lord God Almighty, the nations will respond to your call. They will respond to your plan and your purpose especially in this month of October. Lord God Almighty, let your mighty signs manifest in the nations in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray that you will raise up leaders that listen to your word, leaders that hear and do your will in the nations in the name of Jesus. Now, Father God, we pray specifically for Nigeria. We ask Almighty God, raise up a fresh branch with strength, with your power, Almighty God, to lead Nigeria and Nigerians in your righteousness as you have proposed. Heavenly Father, therefore we pray in agreement that all the schemes of men will fail in Nigeria, but only your will will be done. Lord. The one you have anointed, like you said to Cyrus, that you have upheld his right hand and you will go before him to break the bars of iron, to open the two-leaved gates unto him. Father, so we pray that the one you have anointed, you will raise up, raise up a fresh branch in Nigeria in the name of Jesus to lead Nigeria and Nigerians in your righteousness. Yesterday, Nigeria marked independence. And so, Father, we declare jubilee, freedom, the real liberty in Nigeria. Jubilee means, means no oppression, no more oppression. And so, Father, we ask that every oppression and the oppressors of Nigeria come to an end. Thank you, our Father and our God, for we have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now we'll move into uh, our testimonies. When we do the testimonies, we'll then come to our own specific prayer for the new month. It's testimony time and personal thanksgiving. Please go ahead. Open the line and share your testimonies. Okay, every every day that we um, survive this our land is always a miracle, and um, September was no different. Particularly, God's protection and provision. We had lots of movement in September, and every time the Lord took us out and brought us back safely, I just want to return all thanks and glory to God for his faithfulness and the promises that he has kept. May he, I return all the praise to him um, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes. Safety. Traveling, moving, and God. Safety. God's safety. That's worth thanking God. Next person, your personal testimonies. Testimonies. Praise yes. the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to thank God. Well, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. I just want to thank God for how He has kept me, my entire household, and every one of us on this platform. Just in line with what Brother Dara has shared, that we are alive today, it's just by the grace of God. And I want to return all the glory to Him because this is already the last quarter of the year. and he has brought us into it safely. It's been by his mercies and his grace alone. So all glory be to our God in Jesus' name. And I want Amen. to also thank God, especially for the time of profession we just finished. And I really want to thank God for that program. It was indeed a time of profession for me personally on all fronts. So 
I return all the glory to God and I thank him for the life of our pastor. I pray God continue to bless and use you in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Um, continue to bless every one of us. Next person. <laughs> yes. Sister Comfort, please go ahead. Okay, Pastor, Pastor, thank you so much for the privilege and the opportunity. And good morning to everyone in this platform. So I, we, I think like uh, all my sister and my brother have said, we have every reason to thank God for the new life, for the life that we, you know, he has given us to see the new day. So we thank God for life. We thank him for salvation of our souls. And we thank him. I thank him so much for his word that he has been able to give to us, simple and clear, so that we are not carried away by any deceitful teaching. So I thank him so much. And we are benefiting greatly from many of your teachings as guided by the Holy Spirit. Uh, particularly, I want to particularly thank God for the understanding of his word when we were uh, dealing with faith dimension, that we were made to understand that faith is, is a shield that we all Christians must have. And that was why when Jesus, disciple asked his, uh, Jesus to increase their faith, there was no booster shot that Jesus said, take this and your faith will be increased. What Jesus said was, if they have a faith as tiny as that of a monster seed, they can tell more buried tree to be transformed plants in another place. So th that word have been pondering over it. So no booster shot, Jesus couldn't give, why, what does that word mean? So that what Jesus was saying, true faith, faith in Christ Jesus, there is no other faith. We cannot build faith anywhere except in Jesus Christ. And if we have built this faith in Jesus Christ, there is no booster shot other than for us to nurture and grow by being obedient to Jesus. I think that's how you said we become obedient, we yield to Christ, and we listen to the word of God, guided by God's Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. and our faith will grow. So thank you so much. We are learning a lot. May we apply what we learn from this platform so that we can grow our faith to that of telling the, mul uh, the mulberry tree be transfer and it will happen in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wow. Thank you so much. No booster shot faith. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's powerful. No booster shot. Faith is faith. Grow in faith. Grow with the faith in Jesus Christ. That's it. Don't expect a booster shot. Faith. I love that. I love that. Thank you so much. It's always so encouraging um, hearing this uh, playback, the way the Spirit has ministered. You know, when the Word is coming, the Spirit shares it, divides it to us individually to meet our needs, to answer our questions to build us up. And when we share all that back, we can't imagine the insight, the revelation, the learning, and the faith that uh, that helps to build others, including myself. So thank you so much for sharing that. It's, 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 it's powerful. Hallelujah. So I want to thank God for divine health that's the first one divine health 
Uh, the Lord has helped me to enjoy health, his health. I mean, uh, his healing. Um, for some time, I was uh, having trouble sleeping. But as we were just ministering, the, particularly the month that we're talking about faith, all that, I just find that uh, my sleep improved and I I've been sleeping and sleeping well. To God be the glory in Jesus' name. And the other one is on uh, the um, uh, time of refreshing, specifically time of refreshing. Uh, I, I, I felt really refreshed myself. And that cultivating our fallow ground really challenged me, breaking our fallow ground as the theme and looking at uh, Joshua, Joshua, that story of Joshua. Joshua, you are now old and advanced in age, but there is so much land remaining to be conquered. And the word, the message was very simple. You just get up. Divide the land as I commanded you. And that word inspired me. Just keep going. Just do what the Lord has commanded you. It is the Lord who will take, give you possession of the land. And so there is a lot of land to be conquered. A lot of land to be planted. A lot of you know, harvests to be harvested and the Lord will do all that for us in Jesus' name. Amen. So, we want to pray and I want to ask my uh, sister Comfort to thank God for all these testimonies and return the praise and glory to God. After that, we are then going to pray our prayer for the new month. And if there are other things to share as a discussion, you know, we always allow space for discussion. So since the comfort already set the tone and also in my sharing, if there are other people who still have to reflect and share something, you do, we'll do that after. So Sister Comfort, please pray for us over these testimonies that God will bless the testifiers and will give us more testimonies. And of course, I, we know everybody has a testimony, just the few we have taken. And so God will bless all, bless us all. And God should take glory for these testimonies. Please pray for us. Thank you so much. Shall we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ? Amen. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, the creator of the universe, the one who sits at the circle of the earth, the one whose eyes is roving over all the earth. You are our maker. There is no God equal to you. Mm -hmm. The Do God it. who created us, not for any other thing, but to give you glory, Hallelujah. to worship you, yes. to celebrate you, yes. to praise you. That yes. is why, Father, you gave us our beloved brother, your faithful son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To come and show us the way, to come and lead us. Mm -hmm. And if we build on that foundation, he had already built the foundation. If mm -hmm. we support this foundation, if we stand on this foundation, Father, we will give you more testimony. Mm -hmm. That is why, Father, we thank you for the one we have given. We know, Father, because you are a good Father, a generous Father, a caring Father. You have more testimonies for us to give. Only if we surrender and depend on you. 
Father, we say, let the one we have given come before you. And may you open that door of more testimony to mm -hmm. your children. Mm -hmm. Let it rain so that our fallow ground, the ground that we have not planted, you will plant this testimony. Amen. With the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So that more testimony will flow uh, and our faith too in you will grow. Thank you, Father. Thank Let you, your, your blessing be upon your children in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Please open your Bible again to Luke chapter 4, verses 18 and 19. Luke chapter 4, verses 18 and 19. We want to pray for the new month for ourselves. It is our month of divine jubilee. No oppression, no oppression, but we enter into the joy, the peace, the salvation, the favors of the Lord. So we read it again and we will pray. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty as jubilee to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty, jubilee, those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, that is the year of the Lord's favor, the day when salvation and the free favors of God profusely abound. And I can tell you, brothers and sisters, in Christ Jesus, Jubilee has been declared unto us, has come unto us, is for us to receive this Jubilee. So lift up your voice with me and thank God as a Heavenly Father. I thank you for the month of October. Thank you for bringing me into the month of October, the beginning of the fourth quarter of the year 2022. Thank you so much, my Father. I'm so grateful. Heavenly Father, please bless this month of October for me and bless me in this month of October. Pray with me and say, Father, anoint every second, every minute, every hour, every day, every week of the month of October and all through the remaining months of the fourth quarter 2022 anoint all for me and let them be my jubilee divine jubilee divine jubilee divine jubilee go ahead and pray pray for yourself father anoint every second every minute every hour every day every week of the month of october and the remaining days and months of the year 2022 and let them be jubilee, jubilee unto me, divine jubilee, divine jubilee. In the name of Jesus, pray again and say, Heavenly Father, I thank you that through Jesus Christ, as the scripture says in Luke chapter 4, verses 18 and 19, your divine jubilee, your jubilee has come to me, your freedom has come to me, your liberty has come to me. Your deliverance has come to me. No oppression in my life. No captivity in my life. No blindness in me. In the name of Jesus, may your favor, 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 free favors have come unto me. And so, Father God, I enter into that divine favor in this month of October and in this fourth quarter, last quarter of the year 2022. By your divine jubilee, let me enjoy your divine favors. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. It is our year of jubilee. It is our day of jubilee. It is our time of jubilee. In Jesus' name we are praying. Now open your mouth and declare jubilee unto your family, your children, your 
uh, spouse, your children. No more oppression, no oppression. Jubilee means that every form of captivity be liberated, every form of oppression, you are li delivered, liberated from them all. No captivity, no oppression, no blindness, nothing evil, but only the favors of God. It is our time of the acceptable time, the acceptable time of the Lord. And so open your mouth and say, Father God, in this fourth quarter, let my time of divine favor, my time to break forth and shine forth for you in all that you have given me to do. Let it be my time to shine forth and break forth in all that you have given me to do. This fourth quarter, I shall shine forth. We shall shine forth. My family shall shine forth. And we will glorify you. We will worship you, God, like never before. We will praise you. So pray and say, Heavenly Father, make me a praise unto you. Let my life be a praise. So, Father, by your divine jubilee, whatever is a reproach, whatever is shame, shameful, take it away from my life. It cannot stand. It is your time of jubilee. It is your season of jubilee for me. No oppression, no shame, but God's favor. Encompass me like a shield in the name of Jesus Christ. Now pray for yourself specifically. Whatever challenge you're going through now, ask your father very simply and clearly. Heavenly Father, please do this for me. Please take this away from me. Like Jesus prayed, Heavenly Father, you know, he said, take this cup away from me. If it is not your will, take this cup. Let this cup pass away from me. But if it is your will, let it be done. So go ahead and ask your father directly. Lord God Almighty, in this month of October, I present all my challenges to you. Help me to overcome. Help me. Give me solution. Give me the desires of my heart. Father, Whatever you have not ordained to be in my life, let it not stand. I reject it. I renounce it. But Lord God Almighty, all you have kept for me, let them come to me. You have inscribed me upon your, hand, upon your palm, as your word says. I'm always before you. My walls are always before you, oh God. And so all you have ordained for me, please bring to pass, bring to fulfillment. In this fourth quarter, the last quarter of this year, 2022, Lord, help me. Help me. Go ahead and pray for yourself. Pray for yourself in the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 15 and 16. It's, God was speaking here. He said, can a woman forget her nursing child and not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yes, or oh, surely they may forget. A woman may forget. But God said, surely, uh, yet I will not forget you. I take that away. Can a woman forget her nursing child and not have com compassion on the son of her womb? Surely they may forget. Yet I will not forget you. God said, I will not forget you. 16. See, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands. 
your walls are continually before me. Your walls, your work, your everything. You're going out, you're coming in. Raise your voice to heaven and pray and say, Heavenly Father, I thank you because you have inscribed me on the palms of your hands. You know everything about me. Almighty God, all you have ordained for me to be, to have, to possess, to do, all you have put in me to desire, to achieve in this year 2022. Lord, supply the grace, the strength for me to do them all. In this month of October, Heavenly Father, this year I will not fail. This year, my plans, my desires, which are presented to you, Lord, according to your own will, you will fulfill them all. You bring them to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. And pray and say, Heavenly Father, keep me by your Holy Spirit that I will continue to serve you, please you, and worship you, and honor you through my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Go ahead and just add, what do you desire? Take 30 seconds and just add what you desire. And we will bring the prayer to a close. And we'll also round off the meeting today. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Now let us agree together. As we normally do, you say a big amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for the month of October. We thank you for bringing us into this month of October. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the entire year 2022, the year of our abundant life in Christ Jesus. And we thank you for that abundant life, that divine life, that eternal life, and all the blessings thereof that you have given to us. Heavenly Father, in this month of October, we join our faith together and we declare that this month of October is our month of divine jubilee. And Lord, we agree that we shall enjoy jubilee of the Lord. We shall enjoy great favors of the Lord in this month of October. And Lord, that in this year, 2022, at the end of it, all your will and your purpose for our lives will be fulfilled. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray that we will not fall, we will not fail, that we will stand strong and we will glorify you and praise you. Our lives will bring you praise, will bring you glory, will bring you honor our families, our children, everything that concerns us will bring you glory. So we again agree and declare jubilee upon all that concerns us. It is our month, our season of divine jubilee in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So Father, we ask go before us and take glory in this month and in the remaining days of the year. 2022. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen.